now comes this that aya which i was referring that it is most important aya regarding the philosophy of the institution of prophethood rusulam mubashshirina wa munzirina li alla yakuna lin nas ala allah hujjatun ba'd ar-rusul wa kana allah azizan hakima we have been sending these messengers as mubashshirins and munzirins mubashshirins bearers of glad tidings for whom to believe who accept the faith who do good deeds they bring to them the glad tidings paradise is waiting for you a welcome awaits you there jannah is waiting for you open arms open gates glad tidings ab sharu bil jannati allati kuntum tu'adun have the great have the good tidings and they are warners for who who reject the faith don't believe in allah don't believe in in, in the messengers don't you know they believe in the books they are not doing good deeds so this is the basic function of nabi no nabi had the power to bring anybody forcibly to the right path even muhammad couldn't do it sallallahu alaihi wasallam even for his own uncle although he protected him he loved him and definitely muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also loved him then he should have been grateful to him also because he was protecting him and how you know he would have loved that he should accept islam that is why even on his death bed the prophet said to him oh my uncle you utter these words ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah you only in my ears you utter i'll testify on the day of judgment but he refused and that is why quran says inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta walakin allah yahdi man yasha Oh Muhammad, you cannot guide anybody whom you like. It's only Allah who guides anybody He likes. This authority rests with Allah only. You are Mubashir, you are Nazir. These two words are very important. They are repeated so many times. Ramar salna ka illa Mubashiram wa Nazira. Surah Bani Israel, last section. Ramar salna ka illa Mubashiram wa Nazira. In Surah Kahf, Rasulam Mubashirin wa Munzirin. وما نرسل المرسلين الا مبشرين ومنذرين يا ايها النبي انا ارسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا ودائرا لله باذنه وسراجا منيرا سو بشارا اند انذار گلاد ٹائڈنگز اینڈ وارننگز دیز ار دی ٹو مین فنکشنز بیسک فنکشنز لے اللہ واہی لے اللہ یکون للناس علی اللہ حجت بعد الرسول so that there remains for the people any excuse any plea against allah after the messengers what does it mean when the messenger has come he has conveyed the message of allah he has shown the right path he has presented a personal example also now nobody can plead ignorance oh allah we didn't know nobody showed us the path nobody called us to the right way nobody told us what you like and what you dislike how come you are you are accounting us for such for something which we were not, not told we should not be accountable for those things which were not told to us although a human being is accountable on the basis of the faculties that allah subhanahu wa taala has given him fajalna ho samiyam basira we have we had given you the intellect we have given you the heart lahum qulubun la yafqahuna biha all these things all human beings are basically responsible on the day of judgment on the basis of the faculties that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given but now when rasul has come when a messenger has come he has given the correct message and he has presented an example also practical example not only showed the path he actually he acted upon the deen himself and presented his example before the people now there can be no excuse no plea on the day of judgment rusulam mubashshirin wa munzirin li allah yakuna lin nas ala allah now again see lam and ala lin nas hujja ala nas hujja 
there should remain no hujja no excuse no no plea no argument in favor of people against allah subhanahu wa taala that is why i told you al quran hujjatul laka aw alayka quran is either an argument in your favor or against you in the same way shahada is against someone and in favor of someone shahada lahu shahada alayhi that is witness to testify against someone and testifying in his favor shahada lahu because this word will again appear in surah al maida rusul mubashshirin wa munzirin li allah yakuna lin nas ala allah hujjatun ba'd ar rusul wa kana allah azizan hakima allah is ever powerful all authorized he could bring, bring you to book on any basis but he is hakim he is the wise he is all wisdom so he has designed this system of nabuwa and risala that he has been sending his message of wahi to so many people in now hayna now revert to that aya in now hayna ilayka kama hayna ila nuh wal nabiyina min ba'di wa hayna ila ibrahim wa ismail wa ishaq wa yaqub wal asbat wa isa wa ayub wa yunus wa haruna wa sulaiman wa atana daud zabura wa kallam allah musa taklima all these people were sent why it was no exercise in futility it was not a hobby with allah subhanahu wa taala it's a basic thing about the accountability of the day of judgment that after these passengers have come now nobody can plead ignorance now nobody can take the refuge that oh allah i didn't know you knew it everything was made clear to you even a practical example was produced before you in the person of the messenger rusulan مبشرين ومنذرين لئلا يكون للناس على الله حجة بعد الرسول وكان الله عزيزا حكيما لكن الله يشهد بما انزل اليك انزله بعلمه والملائكه يشهدون but allah bears witness himself with what he has sent down to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he has sent down that with his knowledge it is out of his knowledge that allah subhanahu wa taala has sent this book to you this is a part of his knowledge a part of his wisdom that allah subhanahu wa taala has given you has blessed you with and not only allah is a witness to it all the angels are witness to it zakir allah yashhadu bima anzala ilayka anzalahu bi ilmihi wal malaikatu yashhadun wa kafa billahi shahida and you know this testimony of the angel is mentioned although allah himself is sufficient as a witness he doesn't need any additional witness but because it is a fact this fact has been mentioned that all the angels are also witnesses to it innal ladina kafaru wa saddu an sabilillah verily and certainly and surely those who adopt kufr ungratefulness unthankfulness Now, what should be the thankfulness when Allah has sent the book, Allah has sent the messenger? You believe in Him. You should benefit from the teachings. You should benefit from the divine guidance. This is shukr. And if you are not using these things, it is kufr. It is thanklessness, ungratefulness. In the ladina kafaru, and then they rejected the faith. They did not believe in it. وَصَدُّوا عَن سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ صَدَّ again both ways they themselves held back in not believing in it and they also stopped others put hurdles in the ways of the others also that they should also not accept it in the ladina kafar wa saddu an sabili llah now this was the character of the yahud they not only they didn't believe in muhammad themselves they also were stopping and they were exerting to their utmost that nobody should believe in him dallu dalalam ba'ida they have gone astray they have gone far astray they have deviated from the right path to a very great distance innal ladina kafaru wa zalamu lam yakul illahu li yaghfir lahum again repeating those who have unbelieved who have rejected this faith and who are the evil doers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to pardon them not going to forgive them la yaghfir lahum wala la yahdiyahum tariqa 
and is not going to show them any path, lead them to any path, illa tariqa jahannam, except the path of the hell. Now this path is only open for them. Illa tariqa jahannam a khalidina fiha, and they will dwell in it, abide by it, in it for ever forever wakana zalika lillahi yasira and on allah subhanahu wa taala this is easy don't think it is very difficult for allah to do it